Hi, my name is Boldy and today I'll be showing you how to build an Arduino board based car which you can control via Bluetooth from your phone through an application. So this is what the application looks like with a very simple layout. If you touch and hold the forward button, the car propels itself forward, same thing in reverse, and it can also turn right and left. So in the next section of the video, I'll talk about the materials and the components I used to build the Arduino board-based car. And then after that, I'll talk about the programming of the Arduino board itself and the Android application. So this, of course, is the Arduino Uno board, which controls the entire setup. These two black chips here are the ICs, which um, allow me to control the four motors on the car. This is the Bluetooth module. It, it is the HC05 model. The entire setup is powered by a 9 volt brick battery down there. And um, the wheels and the motor cages and the motors themselves, and also the body, uh, came in a kit. And you have to solder that together down here. And then lead the wires up and plug them into your breadboard. Alright, so now I'm going to go over the code that actually powers the Android application and Arduino um, program that you put on your Ardu Arduino board. So going quickly over the main files in your uh, Android Studio application, what you have to change in the main manifest file over here is you have to add a user permission for Bluetooth, obviously, because you want to connect via Bluetooth. And I also set the screen orientation to portrait, so that's all you need to do in your manifest file. Next up is your activity.main XML file and I set this to be a relative layout as you can see and I defined four main buttons, that's these here, and uh, a fifth one that connects to your Bluetooth uh, module so this button really establishes the connection. So these four buttons here they each have an ID which is very important because that's what we're going to use to link to later in our main activity. So that's pretty much all you need to keep in mind. Now I'll walk you through the main activity.java file of this application. This is really the heart of the application and it powers everything. These import statements are important, don't forget them. I created a string variable over here called device address. This is the MAC address of your Bluetooth module and it is very important, do not forget that. You can find that, by the way, by opening up the settings, the Bluetooth settings, and trying to pair with your HC05, and then this will appear and just copy that in. It has to be hard-coded, so don't forget that. In the onCreate method, we instantiate all five of our buttons over here. Again, this refers to their IDs. Here is the code for the onTouch listener for the forward button, so you set an onTouch listener on that, and uh, you call this action down method, so this detects whether or not the button is being pushed down, and if it is, then it sends 1 as a command, and this command is then outputted through an output stream, and it writes that to your, an to your Arduino board, so that it can then be later processed. Action up is when your button is not being pressed at all, and uh, then it sends command 10, so this is the idle state of the car, and this is when it does not move. Here we have the remaining three buttons. This one is for reverse and it sends command 2 on action down and 10 when idle. And these do pretty much the exact same thing except they send a different command. So for example, the left button is 3 and the right button is command 4. Over here, this is called when the button to connect to your HC05 is pressed. That's the fifth button on your app and um, that calls these functions over here, these methods, and those just establish the connection, so make sure you copy those into your code as well. The source code is in the description, you can find that in the description. It's uploaded on GitHub, so you can copy it. Alright, now for the final segment of our video, where I'll show you the 
Arduino sketch that you upload to your Arduino board. In the beginning, we have uh, a bunch of int integers, and these define the pins on which the motor controls operate on. In the void setup loop, we start a serial dot begin uh, transfer of information, and that continues over here. So this is the establish. This establishes the Bluetooth connection and allows for data transfer between the module and your phone. Over here. Um, over here, we set all the pins to outputs because they will be used to control the motors. We take data as our input and then we switch that. Data was uh, the string we defined as command in our Android application, as you probably remember. And we switch data, so we switch the stream of data coming in. And if it equals 1, then the motors should move forward. And this code here just writes the appropriate pins to high and low. And this causes the car to move forward because it moves, it spins the rotors, the motors in the appropriate direction. Over here, you can also control speed. On four times, of course, one's for forward, two is for reverse, three is for left, and four is for right. And we have this over here. This is if we if the board receives incorrect data, then it should just do nothing. This code is also available on GitHub, so you can go ahead and download that and use it for your own purposes. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Have fun building your project.